Uh, anybody in here competitive at all? Any com comedians competitive? Uh, it's interesting to be in a um, competition about comedy because it's the only thing I've ever been competitive about before, which is actually bullshit. I've been competitive about two things in my entire life growing up. One was comedy, and the other was hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> I always have had the hungriest hippos. <laughs> um, speaking of hungry hippos, I was a fat kid growing up. Uh, it always sucked. Uh, it's the summertime, so the pools are open now, and I was always the fat kid that was wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> so I had my fucking horrible boy man tits. <laughs> because... Fucking a wet t-shirt hides the horrible mess underneath every time it gets wet. Hence when women have on a wet t-shirt. Anyway. I remember my parents put me on Weight Watchers in the fifth grade because I was so fat. That's true stuff. Uh, and I went to a sleepover party. And in the morning for breakfast they had donuts. And if you've ever been on Weight Watchers, you're not allowed to eat donuts. For some fucking crazy reason. <laughs> so they were like, hey Dan, they're like, we got donuts, we got a donuts deal on the store. And I just go, I don't like donuts. <laughs> and he just goes, you don't like donuts? <laughs> you're so, you're so fat. How can you not like donuts? Look <laughs> at your pants. You have fat pants on you. Fat, fat, I'm gross. You know I don't? It's like, alright, give me a fucking blaze and shut up. Grandpa. <laughs> but it's it's interesting. I mean, as shitty as my childhood sounds, I I would go back and do it in a second, which is indicative of how shitty my adulthood has been going so far. <laughs> Uh, I do have some fond memories of my childhood. Uh, I can remember my 18th birthday when my parents took me out to dinner and told me I was a werewolf. <laughs> That's true. Uh, another thing I really liked when I was younger, uh, my dad would take me to rated R movies regardless of how old I was. So uh, uh, one sticks out in particular. Have you ever seen Total Recall before? It's, uh, so, uh, you took me to see Total Recall, if you don't know what it's about, Arnold Schwarzenegger's dad, Mo on Mars. So there's one scene in particular, where, uh, they go into a, a Mars bar. <laughs> and this woman with like, three tits works at the bar, she's a three titted prostitute. And she gets murdered. She gets shot right in one of her boobs. And my dad leaned over to me and whispered, what a waste. <laughs> um, it's interesting when people say you look like a celebrity, because whenever someone says you look like a celebrity, it's always something fucked up. It's never good. Like, you always want to be, like for a guy, you want to be Brad Pitt, George Clooney, someone handsome, but then it's usually like fucking, you look like John Lithgow. <laughs> I was I bought this girl a drink at a bar and we were bullshitting over the drink and she goes, You know what you look like? And I'm waiting for her. She goes, You look like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I was, wow, that's fucking not bad. She goes, Yeah, have you ever seen what's eating Gilbert? <laughs> You're saying I'm like a retarded being around your cat? <laughs> you have a fucking drink back, you man. I was cleaning my room the other day because that's what you do when your room is dirty. And I found an old to-do list. And on the to-do list, uh, the only thing that was crossed off right at the top was to-do list. <laughs> One of my um, 
one of my friends is a, uh, he's a bit of a know-it-all. Uh, he just, you know, he'll argue with you just for the sake of argument. It's fun to him. So we were in a bar the other day, and this girl with a sweet ass walked in. So I said to him, I know, if that girl lived in sweet ass town, she'd be the man. <laughs> So he's just like, she can never be the mayor of sweet ass town. I was like, why not? He goes, because towns don't have mayors. They have first select. <laughs> so, I do have other friends besides him. I'm actually friends with a few members of the Bloods, the gang of the Bloods. Uh, it was their birth one of their birthday parties the other day, so I went uh, to their birthday party, and they wanted to play flip cup. So they sent me out. They go, Dan, we need cups for the flip cup. It's my fucking birthday. You know? So I went out and I got the cups. And came back, and I was like, I got them. I got the cups. I got the cups. And they were real angry. And I didn't know what was wrong. So I put the cups down. And they're like, what the fuck is this supposed to be? You think this is a joke? I go, what did I do? They go, you know we're bloods and you bring blue cups.